Hi, this is Pastor Rick at Living Hope Baptist Church in Hemet, California. I um, want to talk to you today from the Gospel of John, chapter 8. It's a passage in which all the people had gone home, but Jesus, it says, went to the Mount of Olives. Now early in the morning he came again into the temple, and all the people came to him, and he sat down and taught them. Well, it was going just fine because all the people had just spent several days uh, celebrating the Festival of Booths. And uh, so there was a large crowd. And Jesus has opportunity to speak to them again, and then he's interrupted. It says in verse 3, The scribes and Pharisees brought to him a woman caught in adultery. And when they had set her in the midst, they said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in adultery in the very act. Now Moses, in the law, commanded us that such should be stoned. But what do you say? This they said, testing him, that they might have something of which to accuse him. You see, if Jesus had said to stone her, he would have violated Roman law because the Romans said that the Jews could not issue such uh, punishment. If he said, don't stone her, he would violate Jewish law, which said that a woman caught in adultery or actually a person caught in adultery, should be stoned. Notice that they didn't bring the man, they only brought the woman. And it says, But Jesus stooped down and wrote on the ground with his finger as though he did not hear. So when they continued asking him, he raised himself up and said to them, He who is without sin among you, let him throw a stone at her first. And again he stooped down and wrote on the ground. Then those who heard it, being convicted by their conscience, went out one by one, beginning with the oldest, even to the last. And Jesus was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. When Jesus had raised himself up and saw no one but the woman, he said to her, Woman, where are those accusers of yours? Has no one condemned you? And she said, No one, Lord. And Jesus said to her, Neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. What Jesus did, I don't know. Uh, exactly is that is I don't know what he wrote on the ground but whatever he wrote on the ground uh, brought conviction upon the ones who were her, her accusers and they dropped the rocks and left we need to be careful that we're more concerned about people yes we don't we don't condone sin but on the other hand our purpose in life is not to condemn our purpose in life is to help people who are living in sin to find their way to live the right way in life, God's way. And what Jesus did was he basically brought conviction upon all the accusers they left, and then he forgave the woman who was obviously at that point in fear of her life, and the woman was told, go, your sins are forgiven, and sin no more. So Jesus didn't condone the sin. He brought about an, an incident here where she was confronted but then told to go and uh, not to be condemned. So we need to remember the way Jesus Christ handled people when their sin came into their life because the truth is every single one of us has committed some kind of sin in our life. The one we need to go to, the Lord Jesus, is the one who gave his life so that you and I could be forgiven of our sin and inherit eternal life. No, we don't deserve that. But we receive it as a gift from Jesus Christ. Put your faith and trust in Him. And I hope to see you on this website again next week. God bless you.